Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name's Ryan from Sailing Sunday. And for the past four years, I've been sailing around the world with Brittany and my dog Jackson. But this week, I'm training on Monohull in the Caribbean for a luxury catamaran in Australia. So hold on to your hats, fan down the hatches as I set up for an epic adventure in the amazing Wit Sundays with six other Aussie YouTubers. This place is insane. Here we are in our backyard in Australia in the Sundays. That is the biggest spider I've ever seen. Oh my god. Hey, leading the escapade. You see this travel. Ryan from Sailing Sunday, and I brought Brittany and Jackson with me on my t shirt because they're not here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You can't beat this, can you? Hey, mate. You guys are too busy relaxing over here and not adjusting sails. What's going on? Uh, we're just letting it flap for a little bit. It's all good. All right, now you're probably wondering, how did we all end up here as a group together in the Wit Sundays? So let me take you back a few weeks to the Caribbean, which is where it all started. See you later. First flight in four years. First time you're off the boat in four years, hey? So I'm gonna put the camera down because I got half an hour to check in. All right, I know what you're all probably thinking. Why would Ryan leave poor Brittany behind for this epic adventure? But the reality of boat life with a dog means somebody usually has to stay behind. Don't feel too sorry for me though. While Ryan was away, I made sure to spoil myself a bit while also taking care of Jackson and her foster babies. All right, now we've cleared that up, back to me. Here I am on an epic 72 hour flight home to Australia to see my family for the first time in four years. It's been a long time. <laughs> And as you can see, we're all pretty stoked to see each other. I'm in Australia. So is my little nephew. Hey, hey. After catching up with family and friends, a few beers, and a good old Aussie barbecue, I hit up Jason from Leading an Escapade. Hey, mate. Heard you're in town. Catch up for a beer? <coughs> mate, sounds good, eh? Christina and John are in town too. Let's do it. And here we are. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> we talked all things sailing, past, present, and future. So how did you guys start sailing? We tried to boat in the wet Sundays, eh? And we fell in love, eh? Then we bought our own boat in Greece, mate. We should all team up and charter a boat in the wet Sundays, mate. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's wicked. Now that sounds like a great idea. And once we heard Slim and Sofa in town, we could not pass this up. So here I am on the way to the airport to the Wit Sundays. Dad's dropped me back at the train station again, and we're going up from the Gold Coast straight up to Brisbane. The uh, train leaves in 10 minutes. I hope I make it. I hope to make this flight. We're going on the Wit Sundays. We're going with uh, Slim and Soph on YouTube, leading the escapade, uh, Christina's travels, uh, and Sailing Sunday. Got a catamaran for a week. It's going to be wicked. So let's go. here in the Wit Sundays and uh, I'm gonna wait for all the other guys to come so before they get here for now I'm just gonna sit in this empty 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 airport and uh, wait for these guys to arrive <laughs> Now it's time to move on board and see what this baby has to offer. This is like a house, man. This oh, is no, huge. No, no. This is so much bigger than our boat. Look at this kitchen. Oh, guys, wow. So there's one room. We've all got en suites, so. Really? All right, which one's the best room? For those of you who have never heard of the Wit Sundays, the Wit Sundays are made up of 74 stunning islands off the coast of Queensland, Australia. Jason and Janae had a wicked experience with Portland Roads Charter Company before setting off on their own journey in the Med. So our good friends from Portland Roads were pumped to jump on board with this idea and hooked us up with this amazing Lagoon 450 to bring you guys at home along for this epic adventure in the beautiful narrow sea country of the wonderful Wit Sundays. 
Someone's got an anniversary this oh, weekend no. and someone's got a birthday. So I shotgun the other hull. So I don't be woken up in the middle of the night. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna take one of the front rooms because they're a little bit smaller and I, you know, it's oh, only me. Oh, you're gonna be nice. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Shotgun back. These are the back cabins. Wow. They are so big. Holy. But hold on a second, hold on a second. And these are the front cabins. So see, there's like only one side to get onto. I know that I just said about the honeymooners and the uh, birthday girl. people for the, you know, the beds at the back because they're bigger. But the front ones have like a full length mirror. So like, you know, what do you guys oh! want? <laughs> so we already know that this one has a full length mirror down here too. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's fine between you guys. I don't know that. I don't know that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go jump on the front one here. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So once we got the sleeping arrangements organized, it was time to unpack and get ready for the next day. The Wit Sundays are not only absolutely beautiful with their 74 islands and wicked reefs, but also so rich in indigenous history from its first inhabitants, the Naro people, an indigenous seafaring tribe giving its name the Naro Sea Country. Portland Roads recognized the cultural significance of this land, employing indigenous elders and youngsters while obtaining government licenses and also personally sought permission from the Naro elders themselves to sail in their wake. So before we set sail this morning, we're invited to a welcome to country ceremony, which is a tradition in Australia where indigenous elders have come to welcome us here to the Naro Sea Country. When we think about things like the age of the pyramids 4,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago. We think of the oldest living building, standing building in Greece is the Parthenon. And that was built about 400 years BC. 400 years BC. Indigenous Australians have been here for 60,000 years, continuously surviving and adapting. Once the ceremony was complete, we said our goodbyes and it was time to go through the handover process. And after a quick walkthrough about all the systems on the boat and discussing safety, we took her out for a quick test sail with the guys from Portland Roads before us YouTubers set sail ourselves for our own adventure. <laughs> There's so much room. <laughs> So we've only been on the Cataram by ourselves for about 10 minutes and I'm already regretting going back to uh, Sunday. <laughs> Sorry Sunday, I love you, but this Cataram is amazing. It's literally like a hotel on the water and people sit there and give them shit, but like really, this is incredible. Yeah, it's going to be hard going back to Escapade, especially being half the size of this. It's Unreal. <laughs> well, you guys, how are you feeling? Catamaran uh, or what? Man, if we had a boat, I would say that uh, I wouldn't want to get off this one and go back to ours. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet, eh? Hey? It's very cool. What do you think? This thinking? boat. I like mine on a hull, but yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't, want to, I don't want to put my own boat down, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I want to say it out loud, but I can just say I'm pretty comfy up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll just see what it's like I, in a big shop. Ideas, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we've only been up for 10 minutes, so we're going to test the waters, test it all out for the next few days or next week and see how we go. I mean, it's never, I've never, I've always wanted a catamaran. <laughs> oh yeah, look at, look at you here, how I do you know, compare? I know, I got my tanning spot, <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the bikinis on. <laughs> Alright, keep watching, we'll get that later. <laughs> what are you, what do you it's, reckon? It's definitely too soon, but okay, like the space, there's eight of us, no, sorry, seven of us on board and you can literally get lost in the boat and not know where other people are, so like catamarans are amazing for the amount of people you can have aboard and so comfortably and we've just got her up and hooking and she was going so beautifully but yeah I don't know I'm still maybe mono at heart yeah, I don't know yeah. if anyone will convince me otherwise but we'll see how we go <laughs> I think obviously from a financial point of view a mono hull all the way like if we could get a cat like of course but they are so expensive we're talking about a 1.5 million dollar boat that we're on right now 1.6 yes 1.6 I mean, you can get two monos for that. Yeah, that's true. Tie them together. Yeah, 
Talking about the motion of the catamaran compared to the monohull, and I was just saying the monohull like carves through this swell, and you're saying about the side oh, swell yeah. while we're rocking. We're on a 90 right now to the swell, and we yeah. are slapping like left, right, and center. Yeah, yeah. Which is it's just an uncomfortable motion, kind of like this a bit. But we are, if you're on a monohull, you'd be holding your position really well, and it'd just be so much more comfortable than this. But then again, like if we're sailing downwind on this, I think it'd be a lot smoother. But I don't yeah. know, we've got to test it out. I know, what are we now? we got the wind right on our beam. So, so we're sitting on a 90 now, parent. Yeah. I don't know, we're just trying to work out, like, we're still talking about it, what's better, a catamaran or a monohull? And it's like, the sailing on a monohull, I think, is better, like sailing, sailing, but the living on here sailing is better. Yeah. The uncomfortable rocking like this is a bit, like, it's good, but yeah, feel that. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, maybe yeah, it's got to yeah. get used to it. But like, I still hands down, like, I can lay on the front, lay down here, this seat here is just so like this is. I think this is better than just having that carving motion that we yeah. have the one on. Still comfortable. Yeah. But weird feeling. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're more stable when you're sort of carving through, but you are all pinned to one side. So yeah. Even though there's a bit of a wobble here and there, like I can deal with that. Yeah. Same. And walking around, like you can still have a cup on the table, right? Maybe not. You'd have to be guarding your cups and stuff a little bit <laughs> yeah. at the moment. And I mean, this is pretty. I think. It doesn't seem as rough as it is because we're up here and just chilling on the big cat. But we've we've got 20 knots through wind right now. Yeah, and we're all pretty comfortable. Like with, well, I don't know what you call this, the cockpit uh, covers. Yeah, dude, it's like it's more than a bimini. It's like you're in a room. <laughs> yeah. right? Well, look, there's three of us sitting in yeah. this whole area right now. Like we're all sitting here, super comfortable. And this is the size of my cockpit. Probably. Yeah, yeah. This is a, yes, <laughs> def definitely the size of the cockpit. So I mean, like I just feel like you just know comparison. All right, where are we, ladies and gentlemen? What's it called? What are we at? <laughs> Unsurveyed Bird Point. <laughs> That's what we're at. Unsurveyed Bay. So we're anchoring next to Stonehaven, this awesome little bay. We're not anchoring. We're grabbing a ball. How good are you with your pole work? You good holding the pole? <laughs> so, all right, so we got it. But I just got to put the camera down because I can't hold on to this. Oh, there we go. Hey. Yeah. You're in neutral? Yeah. Just sweet. That's it. And then this can just. There we go. Yay. Yeah. All right, now Ryan. Just power four. Are they shunned? Yeah. And I wasn't flexing, I wasn't flexing. <laughs> so we got the crew here, we've got the four YouTube channels, we're around the corner from Bird Point. Check it out guys. Beach one, beach two. Jackson would absolutely love this. I'm sorry Brittany, you'd love it too, but Jackson would love these little beaches. Oh, yes. Ding. Now we picked up this mooring ball, it's time to kick back, have some fun, and enjoy boat life. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Three, two, one! It was epic here, but the swell started to roll in, so Christina, our designated driver, took us around the corner for better protection. We've done the <laughs> ultimate rookie it's, charter yeah, mistake. Really. We see it all the time. Oh no! We're having too much fun. We left the ladder down. Good thing we just let go of the mooring ball. Yeah. We got onto it now, not two days later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not get nervous. <laughs> Is that the instruction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first yeah, yeah. thing you say to someone to make them nervous. There's eh? six cameras on you. We couldn't have kicked off our trip any better, starting at Early Beach with an awesome sail over to Hook Island, eventually settling in for some sundowners on the bow at the beautiful Stonehaven Bay. I know what you mean to me. You've got a story. So, you've never popped a bottle of champagne. It's your 16 year anniversary with two, these two lovebirds who sleep next to me. Right. Oh, so, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Go, buddy, get the cork! Go, go, go! <laughs> shark! Shark! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so 16 years of these two lovebirds. Uh, you guys aren't engaged or married yet? See, they're not engaged or married either, Brittany. Boom. <laughs> Are you guys ready for more adventure? Because we're just getting started. Hit that subscribe button and join us for our upcoming videos of our Whit Sunday sailing trip as each of us take turns captaining this beautiful yacht. And trust us, you don't want to miss out. And if you guys want to experience Whit Sundays for yourself, thanks to Portland Roads, we have our very own exclusive discount to book your own epic catamaran sailing trip. And look at us, anyone can do it, is how we all started sailing. So you guys can explore the same stunning islands, turquoise waters and hidden beaches as we did in this video and create your own unforgettable memories. And guys, with our discount code, you'll get an amazing 20% off on this adventure of a lifetime. So jump online and check it out because spots are limited and you too can set sail for the Wit Sundays. And don't think we forgot our Patreons. To show some extra appreciation to our Patreons, we have a special promotion just for you guys. So jump on Patreon and check that one out. You're gonna be stoked. Thanks to all our Patreons, subscribers, and Portland Road Charters for making all this possible. And we'll see you all next week.